and they are full and equal citizens and deserve the rights of citizenship. That includes marriage. Hillary Clinton may no longer be Secretary of State, but she's still making headlines. On Monday, with this announcement, in an online video released by the gay rights advocacy group Human Rights Campaign. LGBT Americans are our colleagues, our teachers, our soldiers, our friends, our loved ones. Those words adding to rumors that Clinton is considering another run for president in 2016. Other possible Democratic contenders include Vice President Joe Biden, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, and Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley. All of them back the right of same-sex couples to marry. It's kind of become the de facto position of running, and that's a wonderful place to be, that politicians feel that this is, uh, this is the way that the country's moving because that's the way it is, and it's no longer something to run from, but it's something to embrace. And that should come as no surprise. Polls show that public opinion on gay marriage has shifted perhaps more rapidly than on any other major issue in recent times. In 1996, only 27 percent of the American public uh, supported marriage equality. Today, the vast majority uh, of Americans support marriage equality. The White House is welcoming Clinton's announcement, saying it means her views are now in line with the president's. Meantime, the Republican Party officially opposes gay marriage. That's despite several high-profile Republicans publicly backing the issue. Nicole Grether, The Associated Press.